Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today I want to talk about anger and how we deal with anger. Uh, a lot of misunderstanding about not just how to deal with anger, but how Christians ought to deal with anger. The most quoted verse dealing with anger is in the epistle to the Ephesians, chapter four, verse 26, where Paul says, be angry and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Here Paul explains that a person can be angry because, well, anger is a natural emotion or reaction when a person is perhaps surprised with unpleasant news or afraid, offended, sometimes we're embarrassed or disappointed. Anger is a, is a natural emotion that follows these type of events. His warning is not to let anger become a trigger for sinful behavior like revenge or violence or unkindness. He says not to let the sun go down on one's anger. Now many people think that this means that we should resolve the problem that caused the anger in a single day. You know, don't let the sun go down. So you know, before 7 p.m. we have to resolve all the issues that caused the anger and a lot of people become stressed out because many issues just can't be resolved in the same day. We need to understand that this particular saying in the Bible uh, doesn't necessarily mean, uh, you know, don't let the sun go down on your anger. It actually means don't let your anger last longer than the appointed time. You know, the Bible says there's a time for everything. Well, there's a time to be angry. And Paul here is saying, don't let your anger last longer than the time for re-anger. Anger is a, a normal reaction. So he's saying, don't let it go for too long. And when it does, it can easily lead one to feelings and actions that, that are sinful. For example, in Genesis, we read the story of Cain and Abel. And Cain was angry and resentful, but he didn't deal with his emotions right away. And God warned him that sin was at the door. He had to deal with his emotions. Of course, we know that Satan turned this emotion into jealous rage, which eventually led to the murder of his brother Abel. So anger is not wrong in itself. It's, it's an emotional power surge that needs to be dealt with as soon as possible. So I want to leave you with a couple of ideas on how to deal with anger as Christians. Number one, acknowledge it. A lot of times we go around feeling angry, but we don't realize that we're, that we're angry. In the same Ephesian passage in verse 25, Paul says that we need to speak the truth in love. Sometimes this involves being honest with ourselves about how we really feel. Number two, clarify it. Try to define why you are angry and with whom you're angry and if the anger is truly justified. You know, maybe the anger is not worth it or maybe it's not based on something that's true or accurate. It helps dealing with the emotion if we give it some objective analysis. This may not eliminate the feelings that you have, but it may clarify the reasons why you have the feelings. Number three, give it to God. Anger is usually caused by some form of unkindness or injustice. However, getting justice or revenge doesn't necessarily heal the bruised egos or the broken hearts caused by unfairness and unkindness. The healing that we need from the burning heat of anger only comes when we consciously give over our burden of anger to God in prayer and submission. Well, that's it for today. I'm Mike Mazzalongo. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can always reach me at mike at bibletalk.tv. We'll see you next time. God bless you.